Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Welcome back to our daily devotion. And uh, we have been studying the lives of some of the people in the Bible and how God called them, how God uh, uh, reassured them of His promises and what we as believers can learn uh, from, from their lives. So today we're going to look at the life of Joshua. And um, we're going to look at Joshua chapter 1, a few verses from here, starting from verse 5. Uh, Verse 5, Joshua chapter 1, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. So this is God's promise to Joshua. And uh, and we see that uh, what has happened is Moses has passed away. Moses has died and uh, Joshua is given this big and huge responsibility of leading the people of Israel into the promised land. And uh, we know that Joshua worked very closely with Moses. He has seen the challenges, the struggles of Moses, and he has seen the kind of people the Israelites were. And they were grumbling and complaining and and not definitely the easiest of people to work with. So, uh, So the Lord actually Uh, reassures Joshua and he says, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. So the Lord calls him and he reassures him of his presence. So when the Lord calls us, it comes with the reassurance that we are not alone. It could be a huge responsibility. It could be a huge call, but the Lord reassures us that He will be with us. And as He was in the previous season, before the call came to us, so He will be in this season of stepping in and walking uh, into the call. Next we see in verses uh, 6, 7 and verse 9, we see the Lord reiterating something to Joshua. He says, be strong and of good courage. The Lord is saying, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you. So the Lord in other words is saying, Joshua, I will be with you, but you need to be something. You need to have this quality in you. Be strong. Be strong and be bold and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Which means that there will be instances, there will be opportunities or there will be circumstances that will seem challenging, that will seem to uh, intimidate and bring fear into the lives, into our lives and definitely into the life of Joshua. But the Lord is preempting that and he's saying, you be strong and you be courageous and um, the Lord your God is with you. I am the Lord your God. I am with you wherever you go. So the Lord will have a big call for us. The Lord is promising us of his presence, reassuring us that he will be with us. But at the same time, the Lord is also saying, you be strong. You do not be afraid. Be courageous. Because Joshua's call is to lead the people into the promised land. There will be giants in the land. There will be battles and uh, to face and so on. And Joshua also is aware of that. And so the Lord says, you be strong and you be courageous. In verse 8, the Lord gives a series of steps, a series of instructions saying, Joshua, this is something that you need to do. I'll be with you. You be, uh, do not be afraid and you be strong and courageous. But here's something that you need to do. Uh, The Lord says that this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. And what is the Lord saying? The Lord is saying this book of the law, whatever this law is, whatever this instruction is, you make it part of your speaking. You make it part of your confession. You declare it. When I say that you are strong and you are courageous, when I say that I will be with you, you declare it with your mouth and say that, yes, the Lord is with me. And the Lord also says you meditate in it, which means you think deeply over and over again. Let it be part of your thinking. Let it be part of your imagination. And all your choices, all your decisions, all your judgments, let it come from that. And the Lord thirdly is saying you obey it. Be careful to observe everything according to it. So the Lord uh, is 
we uh, is teaching us today that he is with us he's assuring us and he's calling us to do something great but the lord is also giving us these instructions that we need to walk in shall we pray father we thank you lord for the call that each one of us have we thank you that there could be battles there could be challenging situations but lord you have promised that you will be with us each and every step of the way and uh, lord we thank you for these um, instructions to confess your word to meditate on your word and to obey your word lord and even as we do that you've assured that we will walk in good success and so let it be so for each one of us today lord we thank you we give you all the praise and all the glory in jesus matchless name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org